sitting out here on the screen porch thinking about uh, what is important today in our journey through Back to the Basics, right? This is our morning mindset for our technicians uh, for, what, September 7th, 23? So, again, I'm getting to stare out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful view. As you'll see in my background over there and the reflection in the window, you see I'm staring up and this, you know, gets you to reflect a little bit. But let's follow up on yesterday's items. We've got to get our, our credibility or authority higher. We have to get our trust higher. So we do that through listening, uh, getting the clients to, to communicate, open up, talk to us. People will talk, feel like they trust people when they can talk to us. So we've got that going for us. And just to recap where we were, you know, of course the script, when you knock on the door, we step back, come to the door. I'm here to take care of your air conditioning. I'm here to take care of your heat. I'm here to take care of your plumbing. I'm here to take care of your electrical. Say very little about yourself. Make it all be about the client. I'm here for them. Now, dispatch has briefed me on your situation, but if you don't mind, in your own words, what seems to be the issue today? And then we listen and we repeat it back. So every time you go to um, use your kitchen sink, it backs up. And we repeat that. So every time you go to use your kitchen sink, it backs up. Okay. Okay, no problem. All right. Okay, no problem is a great little transition phrase. It also tells the client that, that they can feel relaxed because you're going to get them taken care of. So, okay, no problem. When I run across a situation like this, I have a procedure that I follow. All right, let's break that down. When I run across a situation like this, is saying that you have experience. You're patting yourself on the back. You're telling people that you can handle this situation. You've done this before. Pack herd mentality, safety in numbers. You've got the experience. There goes up our, our, our authority, right? When I run across a situation like this, I have a procedure that I follow. Again, smart people, authority, follow procedures, probably even read the instructions. Some of us, I know, do not even read the instructions. We've all been guilty of that um, at some point. So when I run across a situation like this, I have a procedure that I follow. Now, in the real world, tell them your procedure, but it, follow this little simple pattern. I'm going to look everything over. I'm going to figure out the issue. I'll write it on a piece of paper, I'll put a price next to it, and I'll get your authorization before I do any work that's not covered under your warranty. Let's begin at the sink or wherever their issue was, okay? Let's begin at the water heater, let's begin at the thermostat, let's begin at the, uh, the outlet that's not working. So wherever they perceive the issue is, let's start there. That's, they perceive there's a problem, we, we need to exactly see what that issue is. So recapping that one more time, I know it's just a simple little greeting, but our greeting sets us up for raising our authority and raising our trust. If people trust us and believe we know what we're talking about, they'll listen. And once they listen, we can truly get them to engage and understand why certain things need to be done now and some things can be put off till later and some they're really just nice to have. So. All about our greeting is to get people to want to listen, willing to listen, and engage with us. And then all the things that we've learned how to explain in water filtration or surge protectors or, or, or any component throughout the house, they will actually understand or be, they will engage with us and be able to, to see what we see. So let's go through that again. All right, we knock on the door, we step back. Hey, I'm here to take care of your air conditioning. I usually begin inside. Try to, obviously, for a lot of these situations, we need to get inside. If they don't want you to come inside, I usually begin inside. Now, dispatch has briefed me on your situation, but if you don't mind, in your own words, what seems to be the issue today? Listen. Oh, so every time you hear your furnace cut on, there's this loud banging noise? And then we repeat it back. So every time you hear your system cut on, there's this loud banging noise. So again, that whatever they say, we repeat it back as exactly as we can, converting it to they're doing it 
you know, um, phrasing. So they may say, every time I cut my furnace on, I hear this loud banging noise. And you're going to say, oh, so every time you cut your furnace on, you hear this loud banging noise. And if you'll make that tone go up at the end, it turns it into a question. They're more likely to give you more information. Yeah, this furnace has been old. Last time you guys were out here, they, t they told me that it was getting old and I probably need to get a new one, but I just hadn't done it yet. Wouldn't that be nice to know if somebody were to tell you that information that they've been told they needed a new system um, and that already was in their head? People will tell you plenty of information if you'll just encourage them to talk. And listening is how crazy as it is, if you listen, people will speak more. So, again, dispatch has briefed me on your situation, but if you don't mind, in your own words, what seems to be the issue, listen, 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 repeat it back, and you got to really listen to be able to repeat it back identically to what they said. So every time your furnace cuts on, you hear this loud banging noise? Okay, no problem. When I run across a situation like this, I have a procedure that I follow. First, I'm going to look everything over. I'm going to figure out the issue, I'll write it on a piece of paper, I'll put a price next to it, and I'll get your authorization before I do any work that's not covered under your warranty. Let's begin at the thermostat. Let's begin at wherever the real situation is, right? So all of those components are in there. just want you to say, I'm going to look everything over, I'm going to figure out the issue, I'll write it on a piece of paper, put a price next to it, and get your authorization before I do any work not covered under your warranty. If you'll add that not covered under your warranty, most likely if somebody does have a warranty, home warranty, warranty with your company, whatever, they're going to bring it up. Well, this ought to be covered, or I have an American Home Shield. Wouldn't it be nice to know that in the first three, five minutes that you're in to meeting someone that they expect that their home warranty is going to pay for everything? Not that, not that that's always the situation, but if they perceive that that's the situation, at least you know this is going to be an issue or something that, I, that we have to deal with later. It, bring it out now. It'll keep you from feeling like you just spent 20, 30, 45 minutes figuring everything out, and they just want to get the, someone else to come out and fix it later for you. So... Follow that procedure. Look, I'm going to look everything over. If you want to give them more details of what you're going to do, fine. But I'm going to look everything over. I'm going to pull apart your furnace. I'm going to inspect the heat chambers. I'm going to figure out why we get this banging sound. I'll write it on a piece of paper. I'll put a price next to it. And I'll get your authorization before I do any work that's not covered under your furnace's warranty. Let's begin at the furnace. Okay? All of that will just set you up to smooth it. Plus, you've told them you're going to give them some information. We'll write it on a piece of paper, put a price next to it. You're going to let them know that, that they are to expect that your services do cost. So all of that goes into the proper setup of a good service call. Plumbers have this a lot more. Um, electricians can have this. Almost all their calls are demand-type calls, service calls. Uh, HVAC, I know for our company, half of all our calls were service, half were tune-up. So this is the script that I like to teach for the service calls. Now, if you're there to do an inspection and a tune-up, it's a little different. We have that, and we can go over that. But that's a different, uh, a different process for us today. So... Coming up on the end of a few minutes, if you like this, if it's good for you, like it, uh, help me out, share it, friend me, sh uh, put it into other groups if this is valuable. Uh, and if you'd like more information on our training, we're doing a live training in October 25th in Orlando. Just message me and ask for some more information on the live training in October, and I'll be glad to, to get you that information. But there's our mindset. Uh, morning training for service techs, plumbers, uh, HVAC, electricians, how to do a greeting, how to get things started, and tomorrow we'll be back with the next step. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.